hello everyone so today i was working on this uh, simple shell script to upload a file on uh, on a on a specific jira issue and this is very common question by the way if you ask on the if you if you check on the community you will find a lot of people are asking about this thing that you know how can we upload a upload a file uh, using rest api and i thought i'll probably uh, make a video on this so uh, so today uh, let, let us do that so the issue that that, that we have right now is uh, this one so this issue an hyphen 232 <coughs> is the one that we need to work on and uh, basically we need to up upload a file now the way um, you have to uh, upload a file is using multi-part form uh, so there is uh, a specific way and in usually all the programming languages you have libraries for doing that so if you are trying to do it maybe in uh, maybe in java or php i'm sure you can find a library and on the jira rest api cloud documentation they have given uh, some examples but using curl is uh, the most uh, easy simple way to validate whether uh, you can upload a file and <clears throat> even if you're using curl you can actually uh, use a simple shell script to do it maybe in bulk maybe you want to transfer it the idea here is to understand that you know this can be done this can be achieved of course uh, when you can do it for one issue you can maybe do it for multiple issues you can uh, of course uh, uh, run a loop if you if you want to so the endpoint is uh, simply nothing but uh, rest api 3 issue and then of course you have to pass in the issue key and uh, then of course uh, attachments and the method is of course uh, post so if you run this so let us run this and uh, i'll probably go to this uh, directory where i have uh, my shell script for uh, for jira and by the way if you look at this script here this is looking at this file called uh, uh, jira issues.csv uh, so this file is uh, basically somewhere in my home directory so let us uh, maybe 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 let us uh, upload an image or maybe just uh, run this run run this uh, so what is the name of the script add attachments and uh, it will uh, okay so there is an error it says uh, the issue does not exist or you don't really have uh, you don't really have uh, the permission to to see it but the issue is definitely there I can see this uh, there is a uh, uh, there is a and hyphen 232 let me try uh, let me just check if uh, if we are able to print this a and hyphen 232 it is definitely the, uh, the right issue issue key is also right okay maybe let us try and 233 what is wrong I have no idea okay so I think there is something wrong with the uh, with the, with the way it is the variable name is used so let me just pass in here the oh i know why because uh, it is in uh, single quotes and whenever you have things in single quote it is a bit weird okay so let us pass it like this an hyphen 232 <clears throat> okay and uh, what we'll do we'll probably okay let me just run this for an hyphen 232 oh so it is hard coded so we'll we'll, we'll change it to the variable so what we'll do we'll run this run the script again and this time this time we have this uh, output and uh, what we will do maybe take a look at the issue itself i'll refresh it and uh, hopefully it will uh, it will uh, have the file which is now uploaded so this is of course a csv file but it can be uh, an image let us try an image because why not we need, we need to use uh, different things so in my home directory i know that there is a file called uh, i'll just validate before running running the script so the file is uh, output.png okay so i'll use this output.png output.png okay all right and uh, let us run this again and hopefully we'll get some output okay this is this is great and if i refresh this particular issue it will hopefully yep we have the attachment with basically an image that we just uploaded using uh, this simple curl command and of course now we can take a look at the image it works and uh, this is nothing but my thumbnail now what i was trying to do is of course uh, 
I wanted to make this uh, a bit more dynamic so you can pass in the issue key. So what we need to do, I mean, this is a thing with the shell script. If you're using single quotes, everything within single quotes will print as it is. So what you need to do is uh, you need to pass in, so basically you need to first close this uh, string here and uh, start the string again, but in between you can uh, uh, you can basically use the variable. So the variable is dollar issue underscore key. And uh, you know what we can, well, I think what we can all also do is we can just validate before running the script that indeed we are getting this uh, replaced. So I'll do something like echo and uh, I guess something like this. And uh, I think, yeah, this is good. Let us try if it works. Okay. And I'll exit it here. Exit. Run the script again. Okay. So I think, oh no, so not really working. So um, we need to do something with this. I think we can uh, we can use here uh, so let me try double quotes I think it is good that we are trying it first no still not working okay so I think uh, issue underscore key usually if you are uh, using a variable okay dollar issue key so this needs to be because if you if you're using uh because you need to pass this uh, variable name here okay so i'm just trying to fix this if i can very quickly without uh, keeping you waiting so i'm sure it should work so we are using okay let me just try something here let me just replace it with the uh, uh, DDD or oh, maybe it will not work okay DDD is coming indeed so basically we need a echo dollar issue I'm sure I'm doing something really stupid okay this works so basically what oh I think I know why let us try again dollar issue underscore key do we need to like it should work do we need to like evaluate it it works now it's a bit weird it is something I th was I using a wrong variable name anyway so okay this looks good and uh, what we do, what we need to do now is, I think uh, I'll just cancel everything and uh, let us upload something to an hyphen two three one, and I will also open the issue. And uh, this is my issue where I hope I don't really have any attachment, so I can yeah we don't really have any attachment, so let us do let us uh, run the script. So I think the script is fine and uh, let us run it so i'll open my terminal window let me just clear the output uh the the old output uh, and run this and uh, we think uh, i don't think it worked so it, it there is an error so what exactly is wrong here is it complaining about the think it can be due to this uh, extra no not really working something is I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something here okay so this is fine so HTTPS okay this will hopefully close this here okay all right this looks good to me I'm not really sure what exactly I'm doing wrong here let me just do undo
it works but uh, not with the variable name okay let me let me try one more time okay so we will end this string here with single quote and start the string again and in between let us use dollar issue underscore key it works now I don't know what <laughs> what was wrong I think I need to probably uh, do some research and learn shell scripting a bit more okay so if you refresh this uh, issue now hopefully you will see this uh, image added or not okay so we added it to 233 let us add it to 231 and run this uh, yep it worked and uh, refresh it all right so I think uh, this works and I think it's a very common question uh, that people ask you know how, how can we upload files and uh, and this is of course uh, just to validate that you know these are the headers that you need to pass to make it work but you can also do something similar from other uh, languages maybe in Java or Groovy but hopefully this script will help you in case uh, you are trying to upload files from your terminal without opening Jira and and that is it that is all I wanted to wanted to talk about in this video I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye